Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a double review um, because I got two figures, series six figures from Argos yesterday um, and uh, the two figures that I got was the Doctor wearing cowboy hat which is a really good figure also nephew yep the eyes are green obviously and the orb is green and it's see through green so that's quite good so the figure that i shall review first will be the doctor in stetson or wearing cowboy hat so i'll go over articulation first now on mega shorts review and dalek dogs hugs review uh, they said that the head doesn't move but on my figure the head does move a bit doesn't move much to that side but it moves it moves a bit more on that side um, also the arms can go back like that um, oh wait it's on it there um, also they can twist at the thingy jiggies the the well I've forgotten what it's called um, the uh, the the elbows can go up and down. Also, the hands can do eight three sixty. The waist can move a little bit. Yeah, I'm showing from the front there. Yeah. It can move a tiny bit, I suppose. And you can you can move it all the way around, but I'm not going to. Um. Yeah, the legs can obviously kick like what practically all figures can do and there's a hole at the bottom of the feet and uh, I've noticed, I've not gone it with me but the silent with closed mouth figure does not have a hole in the feet so that's quite strange anyway, the legs can also move outwards and uh, they can also twist here um, other articulation, yes, final bit of articulation you can also move here um, the knees. So yeah, um, the Stetson is obviously the main part of this figure, and it's really been really well detailed. The the there's a band around the around the top of the Stetson or the cowboy hat, and that looks very very good. Um, yeah, as, as you can see, it's also been curved a bit around the bottom of the the cowboy hat. Um, another thing is that the red bow tie, it really should be blue, but um, a lot of people have mentioned that, but to be honest, I don't care. Um, yeah, I really don't care about it not being blue. It's still a really good figure. Um, and when I do my final rating on this figure, it will not push it down by anything. So yeah, um, yeah there's a... a a lot more differences than everyone thought of this figure because um, the jacket um, has has been is been painted differently. If I compare it to the Matt Smith, in fact, no, I'll put it down actually, and then I'll compare it. Right, okay, let's compare it now. You might be able to see it. I'm not too sure, but uh, this this cowboy hat doctor his jacket is a bit more pure brown and this one's a bit green or um yeah and another thing that's that looks the same but it isn't the same is the bow ties uh, this bow tie the cowboy hat is supposed to be the same as this bow tie but it's like this bow tie the cowboy hat one is actually a bit darker than this one Okay, um, I'm not sure, no, I don't have another one here to compare it with. Oh, in fact, I'll move him out of the way. And I'll move this back up here. Oops. The sonic screwdriver is a bit different than the, than the previous sonic screwdriver because the bronze, the gold bits on it, are a bit purer bronze or gold than the previous one. Um, and there's some more gold here and some gold here on the stripes which you probably can't see but oh well so yeah another thing I've noticed is obviously the white shirt and the 
goodie shirt. As you can see, they are completely different. Um, also, another thing is that the plastic used to make the jacket is a bit more, it's a bit, I don't know, a bit more soft than the previous one. I, I may be able to show you, I don't know. No, I can't show you. Oh, can I? See, it's completely a uh, different plastic used. Uh, this one's a bit softer and this one's a bit thicker. So, yeah, it's a really, really great figure, the Doctor Wearing Cowboy hat. Uh, Oh, oh, I forgot to mention that the boots, compared it, are a, are are a, a bit less shiny on the sorry on the cowboy hat doctor. And as you can see there, yeah. So uh, the cowboy hat doctor is a great figure, um, one of the best eleventh doctor figures. And uh, yeah, um, I very highly recommend it and if I had to give it a rating out of 10, I would definitely give it a very well earned 10 out of 10. Great articulation, great sculpt, high, very highly detailed, um, yeah the accessories quite nice that they've changed it a bit, even though he didn't actually <coughs> uh, use it or even hold it when he was, uh, when he wore his cowboy hat. Now, although this figure only appeared for 25 seconds in The Impossible Astronaut, the Stetson will make a reappearance in the second half of Series 6 if you watch the new trailer for it. So, yeah, that is my review of the Doctor wearing cowboy hat. Now, I shall be reviewing Nephew. Now, Nephew is a really good figure. Apparently, it's very rare. Apparently there's only, like, you know how shops, when they get, like, a big box of figures, like, there's maybe three states and Doctors and two silent with closed mouth, three silent with open mouth, that kind of thing. There's only one nephew in that. So, yeah, that's very, very rare, kind of. R the rarest in the set. Now, a little problem I had with this was... The fact that the orb is a, it should be a lot longer. The packet was actually the packaging was made to hold it a bit longer, but uh, mine I don't think is as bad as as uh, Doctor Figures one. I think that's the name. Um, yeah, he, he got it really bad. Uh, his his was so sh his was so short that. Uh, Oops, I'll, I'll, it's, it's a pain to get the orb in when it's when it's small. There you go. But when he does it, when he does this, his orb actually comes out. So yeah, I think mine's a bit longer than his. So, um, I'll take the orb out actually for this review, and then I'll, and then I'll do the orb later. The eyes are really green, yeah, as you can see. Um. Yeah, also the tentacles are a bit pinker, pinkier, whatever you want to call it, um, than the original one. Um, I don't have an original one here to show you, but uh, yeah, that's it's a bit annoying that I don't have one here to show you, but you know. Um, okay, so I'll go into articulation. The head can move side to side, the arm can go back. And the and the thingies, the elbows can go up, and the hands can move back and forth like that. Also, the waist can do a three sixty. I think yes, it can. Um, yep. Also, the knees can kick out, obviously, and also at the knees, they can do a back and forth. Okay, so the detail on the face is a bit different to the Series 2 Oud um, and also spots at the back unlike the Series 2 Oud. Now I thought they would probably use the Series uh, the, the series 2 body and then the um, and then the Series 4 head. I thought they would do that because the Series 4 head was a bit more lifelike than the original Oud. 
But I'm, I'm, I have to say I'm glad they just kept with, with this because after looking at the series for at Oud, their tentacles were really, really big and really long. So I'm glad they didn't do that. And as I said before, the eyes are obviously green and the tentacles are a bit pinker, pinky or whatever. Yep, also the face is a bit darker than the Series 2 Oud. Uh, you see, yeah, that's, that's obviously what it, what it should do to to make it be more lifelike. Um, yeah, so that's very good. Articulation is alright. Um, heads... The head, the detail on the head is all right. This, well, the detail on the head is really good, actually. Um, yeah, so it's it's really good figure. Um, yeah, so it's a very very good figure. Um, to be honest, uh, very rare. And now I shall take a look at the orb. Now the orb is a see-through green color. Um, probably because uh, it, you, you want it to see the mechanics in it and then a lot of people think that this bit is just the, the normal white wire that goes from the tentacles to the to the hand it's not it's actually transparent which is a bit different to the to the other route obviously so yeah and uh, that can just fit in to the figure quite easily like so if you just find the hole it's a bit it's a bit strange hard to get the hole to find it because uh, because obviously when it's see-through you don't know what you're actually seeing and because it's green as well it distracts you all right there we go so yeah overall the nephew is a great figure um, and it's a great addition to my collection and even though the series it might not have a, a series 6 standard uh, articulation it just has the normal series 2 articulation it, it's still really very 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 good and uh, out of 10 I give it a 10 out of 10 even though mine had a wee fault but I still give it a 10 out of 10 so yeah that's the it for my review of the Doctor in um, wearing cowboy hat and nephew and uh, out of 10, no out of 20 actually if I had to give them a rate, uh, both of them a rating out of 20 I'd definitely give them a 20 out of 20 great great figures and uh, yeah great figures and also if, if um, Sorry, and uh, if you see these in in the shop in either Argos or Ellenbury or whatever whatever shop you could see it in, then I would definitely get it because uh, because you know they are great great figures, and uh, and yeah the articulation on the Eleventh Doctor is just the same really even though it shouldn't be the same the head shouldn't exactly move, but it's 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 just lucky in mind that it does move so um yeah and also nephew is a really good figure quite rare as well so that's quite cool so um yeah as i said 20 out of 20 for uh, if they were a set of these figures and um yeah my next review will maybe be of the one of the another series 6 figure um me the the other series six figure that it possibly will be on is either Amelia or Silent with open mouth. Um, if it's not that, then um, then it'll be the then it'll be the what will it be? It'll be the uh, the cyber uh, Argos exclusive Cyberman collector set. So yes, um, I shall see you later, guys, with hopefully another review. So. Bye for just now, and it's goodbye from the doctor wearing cowboy hat and nephew. Goodbye! Goodbye! Yeah. Bye!